Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Attila Pink, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about it that this week is going to be very important. Why? Because tomorrow, on the 5th of November, we're going to have the election in the United States. And let's look at the present situation, what is happening right now. Then the second thing I would like to talk about, another important thing happening this week is the FOMC meeting on Thursday, on the 7th of uh, November. Then actually, when we looking at how much uh, Bitcoin, the Bitcoin spot ETF, uh, you know, issuers buying, October was the second biggest month. Uh, and finally, let's talk about Warren Buffett and the Berkshire's Hathaway cash uh, uh, source to 325 billion US dollar. So, you know, the Q3 report is out and actually Warren Buffett has now even more cash. So he's focusing on that. Why? This is the good question. Okay, guys, all this in today's video. And don't forget, every single day, I bring you the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news here on Blockchain Bloom to keep you up to date. So that's important, very simple. Just subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also hit the like button uh, if you like this kind of content. And now let's do it. Well, last two weeks I was in Dubai. I attended to a couple of conferences just like uh, Blockchain Live 2024, uh, Binance Blockchain Week. I made a couple of interviews, uh, met people with Karl uh, Runefeld, made a very nice interview with him in his office. Also, um, uh, I met uh, Ledger's CEO. Uh, Pascal Gauthier and uh, had an interview with uh, him and so on and so forth. So a couple of interviews and these are coming up on this channel, uh, you know, in the next couple of weeks. But, uh, you know, I have to, you know, uh, edit them and all these kind of things. And I put this in those also later on the Hungarian channel. But for that, I have to make the subtitles and I don't want to do, you know, first English channel. So I will put these interviews in the same time on both channels. So yeah, these kind of things coming up. But from now on, I'm back in the studio and recording these videos from here. You know, usual thing, Monday to Thursday, longer video, but every single day from Monday to Sunday, you're getting these kind of uh, short videos, you know, a couple of during the day. Right, and let's start with the market and the prices as usual. Okay, so we can see that Bitcoin is actually a tiny little bit up in the last 24 hours, half percent, kind of, 68,759 US dollar. Ethereum, about the same up, 2,466 US dollar. When we're looking at the winner, Dogecoin, up 4% in the last 24 hours, Nexo, 2%, and XRP, 1.7. The loser, it's a Popcat so far, 13% down, Apecoin, 9%, and Torchain, down almost 7%. When we're looking at here the Bitcoin candlestick chart, we had here a couple of days now uh, going down. There is a bit uncertainty on the market. It is definitely because of the US election, but we're going to talk about it in a second. You know, I didn't get a chance here uh, in a video to announce it uh, that uh, overall we had actually a very nice October. Even we were worried at the beginning, or some people were worried at the beginning of October because we started to go down. But at the end of October, we closed plus 10.76%. So this is not bad, not bad at all. You know, the things continue uh, when the sept September was green. And each every year when the September was green, then October was green. And when these two were green, the rest of the year was green. So even now, with 2.3% down, uh, but again, it's just 4th of November. And very importantly, the US election is coming up tomorrow. So let's talk about that. So we're having right now a very, very important week and it could have an impact of the close future of crypto as well. In the long future, when it comes to Bitcoin, I don't think that there will be any huge differences, but definitely who is the one who is supporting crypto more from the candidates? It's Donald Trump. But what happened recently, uh, when you're looking at the data at the polling market, um, that uh, Trump's uh, lead uh, significantly dropped in the you know last week or so, which led us that here, actually on the 3rd of uh, November, 
we had a point when Kamala took the lead, according to Poly Market. So now Donald Trump started to, you know, gain uh, some momentum. And tomorrow is the election. So we're going to figure out pretty soon. So we could have theoretically three outcome. Trump wins, Kamala Harris wins, and we don't have enough votes to, uh, you know, make the, the election uh, valid. And that could be the worst thing because uh, then uncertainty could continue and that's not good for the market. Probably, we don't know the future, but probably when Donald Trump wins because he's publicly supporting crypto, talking about Bitcoin in his speeches and all these kind of things, Bitcoin and, and altcoins can take off much better with that win. If we are over and we do know who win the wins, uh, it also helps the market. But maybe with Kamala Harris, we can have the old coins a bit weaker and maybe there will be a, a drop. And But for long term, I do believe that for Bitcoin, it will be positive as well. Uh, the old coins could be the ones which could be more affected if uh, she wins in the short term, uh, I believe. And uh, yeah, when we're looking at elections, you know, every single time before the election, we had a price drop. We had it back in 2016, we had it in 2020, and we have it now in 2024. On the other hand, when we're looking at 16 and 20, we had this very nice, uh, you know, takeoff after that. So it's still possible, doesn't matter, you know, who is winning. And at the end of the day, you know, more money printing is coming. That means, you know, the debt is increasing in the U.S. debt. You know, like Clinton, we had the plus one trillion, Bush plus four trillion, Obama plus nine trillion, Trump plus seven, now plus five. So what, as you can see it here, uh, it's pretty clear that the U.S. debt is increasing, more money printing is coming, which definitely helps Bitcoin as, uh, you know, Bitcoin has a fixed uh, number. It's a fixed cap, uh, hard cap, uh, which is one of one million. So that's definitely good in long term, but I think there could we could see some volatility on this week. Depends who is winning, how the election is going during the election as the votes are coming out. Uh, things can happen. <clears throat> and another thing, uh, which also can bring some action maybe uh, to the market, is the FOMC meeting on Thursday. <laughs> So now we're going to have the next FOMC meeting this week as well, just like the election two days later on Thursday. And now when we're looking at the possibilities, 99.8% is saying that there will be a rate cut, a rate cut of 25 basis points. So last time, after a long, long time, we had the very first rate cut with 50 basis points. Now this could be another one. So that means we continue in the direction which we have started, which is actually good because uh, as we do the rate cuts, you know, it's definitely good in long term for the um, liquid market, for, for the more risky assets, just like stock market and the Bitcoin. So, yeah, this can actually also happen. Uh, and the majority is saying the 25 basis point rate cut is happening probably. Okay, when we're looking at the how much, you know, uh, Bitcoin, the ETF uh, issuers bought, October was the second best month for them. So, well, when we're looking at October, we not just closed it in green with plus 10% when we're looking at the Bitcoin price, but also when it comes to how many Bitcoin, the spot Bitcoin ETF issuers bought in the United States, it's the second best month since, uh, you know, uh, Bitcoin spot ETFs came out in the United States, and that was the first month this year in January. So we're talking about 76,823 Bitcoin. It's a quite large uh, number, to be honest with you. And, you know, uh, if you uh, look this, look how BlackRock is accumulating. It's just like crazy, right? And uh, yeah, here we have seen some outflows and even on the 1st of November, overall picture brought some outflows, but before for many, many days, continuously inflow, inflow and big, big, big inflows, then some outflow and then before big, big, big inflows. So that's why when you're looking at BlackRock, for example, which one is mostly accumulating or have zero days and just really a few um, outflows, they have already 
433,713 Bitcoin. So they could have maybe half a million Bitcoin by the end of the year if they continue like this. And this is a big amount. And this is overall actually not that great if you looking at from that angle that uh, whatever you sell, they buying it. And okay, now it's the kind of beginning and okay, it's just getting to half a million, which is a large number. But uh, watch this, what's happening here over the years. And if they continue in this way, they're going to have more and more and more. So I think this is this is an important thing to, to realize. Okay, and finally, let's talk about Warren Buffett's uh, strategy. So what we have that actually it looks like that Warren Buffett is getting out from the stock market and sitting on more and more cash. So Warren Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway's uh, extended their uh, retrace from stock in the third quarter, slashing their holdings in Apple and boosting the cash to rec uh, record 325.2 billion US dollars. This is how much cash they're sitting on, probably waiting, I don't know when, but to enter to the market, I believe. So, but the question is, what he knows, what we don't, why is he escaping already uh, that much? We shouldn't forget that, you know, He's a massive player. So he cannot just uh, exit the market to one day to another. He has to do it step by step. So even if he sees some bad days, you know, coming up, that uh, he cannot just do it for one day to another, then he will crash, crash the price. But this is actually the direction um, Warren Buffett is it's going now. So in a quarter report on Saturday, Berkshire said it sold 100 million or in other words, 25% of its Apple share over summer, ending with 300 million now. So as you can see, one quarter is sold, you know, th um, yeah, three quarter, uh, they still holding. So the majority is here, but they're getting, you know, step by step out. So this is the direction what Warren Buffett is doing. Um, right, guys, that's it for today. So tomorrow, big day, 5th of November, the US election. Well, who going to win? We're going to figure out actually pretty soon now because we are extremely close. And then we're going to see what the market is doing now because there are some worries after Donald Trump, uh, you know, dropped in the last couple of uh, days uh, quite a lot. And, um, you know, they started to worry. And we can see that there is actually outflow, much bigger outflows. Oh, I can show you this as well. Uh, where is that? Yeah. Uh, and let's move to this one and uh, this one so when you're looking at you know the old coins then the the bigger old coins uh, sorry no the old coin market not including ethereum and um uh, bitcoin basically uh, its market cap is uh, you know 595 uh, billion us dollar as you can see that went down kind of significantly but look at this one these are the smaller ones not including the top 10 okay so out of the top 10 and uh, that's went down more. And why? It is because when the people are worried if, you know, Kamala Harris wins, it would hurt probably more altcoins than, than Bitcoins. So what happened recently that they are really now neck and neck, you know, some of them try to stay on the safe side. So that's why we see the altcoins dumping as well. Uh, right, guys, that's it for today. Don't forget, if you would like to stay up to date in crypto, simply subscribe to this YouTube channel as I bring you these videos, bring you this, you know, well, yeah. Since since 2020, May, four and a half years, I'm making daily videos here on this YouTube channel. So you're really not missing out if you are subscribing. And if you like this kind of content, simply hit the like button. See you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.